Uh, we are art versus science. And you're watching Queen's, Queen's TV. Hello, hello, I'm Queen. We are art versus science from Sydney, Australia. And we are very happy to be here playing for you fine people tonight. Would you like to get higher with art versus science? We all went to school together. So we were in the year above Dan. Uh, we played in the jazz band and stage band and all those nerdy things and then played in pop punk bands and stuff. Is that and rock bands. Rock and roll. All sorts Blink of stuff. Blink-182 was really fashionable at the time. Got sick of doing that and then somehow came across a keyboard and plugged that into one of the amps and it sounded really cool and then got another keyboard and plugged that into another amp. Yeah, we, it was kind of just whatever was lying around it and just sort of plugged it in and started making dancey kind of sounds. Yeah. Yes. When yes. we first started, Justice were the only people who were doing, who sounded like Justice. Then the Prodigy sounded like them, and kind of everyone sounds a bit like them. And now Justice don't sound like Justice. Also, when we started in Australia, there were like two, or a bunch of really big, like Australian bands that had made it like, made dance music okay again. And they were the bands that people started going to see at festivals as opposed to like, you know, the rock bands of five, ten years before. And they became like the huge acts that people would go and see. Yeah. Not, like, it, wasn't the big, it wasn't big rock acts anymore, it was the dance acts that people were going crazy. I think ours is different mainly because there aren't any backing tracks or samples yeah. or anything like that. It's all live, like every note is us pressing the key down. And even when there's a thing that sounds like an arpeggiator, it's us like ten frantically playing the notes really quickly. It's a weird kind of thing actually, we're trying to emulate uh, emulate really pre-programmed and sort of like craft work and electronic kind of things. But because we can't do it properly, that's what I think some of the appeal is. The name of the album was very much about how we approached it all and everything. Because everything for us is an experiment. We don't know if it's going to work or if it's, you know, kind of write something. And most of our songs are pretty different from each other and we're not really trying to be one style we kind of we take a bit of everything so it's always an experiment but it's more i think even when we sit down and, and just start jamming to write songs even just changing the, the different sounds on your keyboard you're like oh i haven't used this noise before that's a bit of an experiment in new sounds and you try something new and you try a new effect on your pedals and this and that and you just mess around and i don't know it's kind of like you're pouring all these different things into a beaker and going what's gonna be, what's this gonna make here we go there's a song in the beginning there was a fountain but it wasn't just any fountain it was a fountain of light it was a fountain of truth it was a fountain of What's up?